welcome back to Channel Off, brought to you by McDonald's. This week we meet Nima, an aspiring writer, actor and theatre director. I got into performing Shakespeare in a non-traditional way in my university Shakespeare exam. My mission is to show young people that Shakespeare belongs to all of us. So to help Nima put some shape to his work, we brought in top theatre director Hannah Price. When you're putting together a team of people to work with, just really think about the dynamics of that group. People can come into the audition quite stressed and quite uptight, and if you can really put them at their ease, you can uncover a hidden gem that you might not otherwise have found. So I'm going to set you a challenge. In 72 hours, I want you to devise, cast and rehearse a play and perform it in a surprise location. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that? Yeah, scared, good. If, like Nima, you have an ambition you'd like to bring to life, head over to channelus.com and tell us all about yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. When I say the name Shakespeare, what does that mean to you? Shakespeare. It's too slow and I don't understand what you're saying. It's a bit boring. <laughs> if it was a modern day one. Modern day one. Yeah, I would watch it. How did that go for you? mixed but it's kind of what I expected. I think I was expecting people to be a bit more positive. There's a bit of ap apathy and disconnect. Yeah. Well what I sort of would love to do is explore Shakespeare in a non-traditional way and just for the voices to not sound like the voices you expect to hear when you hear Shakespeare. I think that's a really brilliant idea and really ambitious. Yeah. Um, can you show me what you're talking about. Rap is all sex, drugs and violence. The aforementioned in a fellow transfigures the mind when given dangerous guidance. Imagine this, imagine that, take your mindset out of its habitat. My name is Iago, I will take your mind, make your mind, imagine rap, sex, drugs and violence, then you can have it back. <laughs> yeah. That's a really brilliant idea. It's gonna be tricky bringing people in who have a lot of preconceptions of what, yeah. what Shakespeare is. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. What I'd like to see is Shakespeare put in your own words and own voices. You can do whatever you want with it. What do you think straight away? Brutus says he was ambitious. It yeah. was a grievous so and so much better, yeah. I want to hear your speech patterns. Wow. Like, the more you, the better. Everything is just go with it. Go yeah, with it. Um, it's interesting to see the group dynamics. Some people more overpowering than others, and in some cases that's really good, and in some cases I'm not so sure. And um, But it's cool, it's really exciting. I'd like to see each group individually now. Can I have a moment? Oh, absolutely, I mean, enlighten me. Me and Casper, we went out on the lash on the St. Chirpsin Day. Be in the flowing cups freshly remembered. Oh, it's going to be remembered, mate. This <laughs> It's going to be really difficult choosing because everyone's got their own qualities. So some people are really technically skilled and some people are just raw and some people are just making really clever decisions and some people just seem like they care and just be brilliant people to work with. I'm really spoiled for choice. <laughs> <laughs> So you've got your cast. I've got my cast. Really? We've got some really wicked people. You're confident that you can lead this team? Bah, no. No? I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> I've still not got a clue where the performance is going to be, so that's why we're sort of at this bandstand to sort of try doing it in some wacky places so that we're ready for anything. We're going to do some performance work, get sort of confident, shouting out loud. Take it out. I want to just get that environment where everyone feels that like they can say their piece and there's no one in charge and make it as much of a collaborative process as possible. Where for Art Thou Romeo? Should we have little gestures and stuff? Should Nima's been great. Like, he wants all of us to have our say. He doesn't just want it to be about him and his work. Let's all do this together. He's so positive and giving us a really safe environment to work in. Whenever you feel right, whenever you're pushed to your limit, then you can react. He knows how to work with you, like he, he can actually look at you and he knows what you need. Why can't you say it? What do you mean? Boom! Yeah! And I'm just sort of trying to get some ideas down that are fresh in my mind for some starting blocks for the, for the play. I'm excited. I think I've got some good people. Just seeing them work is like, oh, I'm getting little ideas off them. So I'm using them for my game, which is nice. <laughs> I am a fellow. Do you three want to do your scene from yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Swear for Arthur Romeo. Sorry, pause, correction. That's a common misconception. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> Come on. What do you want from me? That that works. Hello, everyone. I'm Hannah. How are you? 
got quite a lot of material. Brilliant. If you could help us put on an amazing performance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to see something. Me, 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 me. The teeth, the tongue, the tip of the lips. If you weren't Romeo, you'd hold me close and we wouldn't wander the darkness as fallen, poisoned, lonely ghosts. And hold their manhoods. Womanhoods. <laughs> Cheap. You use those really famous lines. It's kind of nice to kind of slip those in. I thought that was really good. But it feels like what you're maybe moving towards is secretly sneaking them bits of Shakespeare. It sort of creeps up on them. By the end, you're yeah. actually seeing the performance like quite well informed of Shakespeare. I suppose I'm anxious more than anything. Right. Just to get it done in time. I would concentrate on making sure you have a really strong narrative. Yeah tidying up any kind of loose ends that you mm. start and then just making sure it all comes yeah. to a conclusion. I think Hannah Cumming has given us all a bit of a confidence boost. Just the one thing we needed to hear was have a clear through line and end it with a bang. We've got about 24 hours from now till performance. Uh, so yeah, we're racing against the clock. Obviously there's a lot of work to be done tomorrow. I've left things last minute, but this is flipping ridiculous. <laughs> one issue is projection. We don't know where the space is going to be, so I'm quite anxious to make sure the voices are filling at least the rehearsal space, because I have a feeling that the performance space is going to be harder to fill. It's become like a phrase that you say quietly, and you're used to saying it yeah. quietly. Normally when I'm on stage, I project. Okay, but I need you to do it in the rehearsal. Shudaba, 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 shudaba. Again. Shudaba, 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 shudaba. Boom. Goodaba, 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 goodaba. Great. I'll be back for it. Goody bar, goody bar, goody bar, goody bar. Great. My biggest fear is going to the location and being like, blur, we can't do the play here, we can't do the show here. I'm finally ready to tell you okay. that it's right here. So it's going to be on the roof no. of the, this really nice views of London. Look at it. <laughs> that is amazing. The guys are going to love it, aren't they? I'm slightly kind of a bit speechless. Like, this is. Yeah. Happy? Yeah, like, this is, a, it's overwhelming, it's amazing. Let's be loud, let's be bold, let's be daring, let's be beautiful, let's be colourful, let's be wonderful, let's be dirty, gritty, cool and pretty, and do justice to the hard work that each individual has put into it. As you can hear, it's quite noisy, so they're going to have a bit of a job technically to make sure that they can be heard. <laughs> I'm really scared. Hopefully I can just push it through. And it would just be magical if we could just get it right, and people would enjoy it. And communicate saying. <laughs> if we could have some of your time to make you understand, then please, let us be real with you. Hello, Othello. I've got a fair few questions. And if you'd oblige to be at my service, together we can unlock the beast within the wordsmith. She's not asking, where are you, Romeo? She's asking, why are you? Phoebe once said, in the words of Shakespeare, I will not be thy executioner. People's Romeo, Montagues and a few, or fellow, hello, he's, he's talking, talking about, about you. you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm genuinely blown away by it. I'm just so, so proud of everyone. Like, I can't believe we've stuck it together in a couple of days. Uh, Nima's one of the most talented people I've ever met. I can't believe it. I'm amazed. <laughs> I think Neem has really inspired people to trust him and to give their absolute best performance. By myself I couldn't, couldn't do nothing but with collaborators like that and that's what Hannah, one of her best tips was, find people you want to collaborate with and hold on to them for dear life, do you know what I mean? Next week we're with Charlotte who has 72 hours to create and put on an event for the Channel Us community. Do you sing, play music, dance, do magic and want to perform at the event? Then get in touch to get involved and don't forget to subscribe.